Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina urges businessmen to put concentration on research for product diversification. Following health rules, the nationwide distribution of new textbooks begins today. The head of WHO strikes a hopeful note about beating the pandemic by 2022. Made of his predicts a mild cold wave sweeping over northern districts and it may spread countrywide. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to My TV News. I'm Ashikus Zaman with you in the newsroom. You are watching the headlines now. The details. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina today has urged the country's businessmen to put concentration on research for product diversification and own branding to boost exports and business growth. She urged this while speaking at the inaugural ceremony of the month-long Dhaka International Trade Fair 2022 at Bangabandhu Bangladesh China Friendship Exhibition Center at Purbachal, a new city in the outskirts of the capital. Joining virtually at the inaugural ceremony of the 26th edition of the trade fair from her official residence Ganu Bhavan. She said research is needed for expansion of trade and commerce to understand and maintain the product demand and its quality. She continued that the government has already conducted feasibility studies on 23 countries for bilateral and regional trade agreement, free trade agreement and comprehensive economic agreement. At the outset of the ceremony, an audiovisual presentation highlighting development activities of the present government was screened. New textbook festival is being held this year, is not being held this year due to the coronavirus pandemic. But following health rules, the nationwide distribution of new textbooks has begun today. This year, some 34 crore, 70 lakh, 22,000, one and 30 books are being distributed free of cost among 4 crore, 17 lakh, 26,856 students of 6 to 9 grade as a part of the new books distribution program the first day of the new year. Authorities have been asked to complete the distribution of new textbooks among the students within 12 days. Earlier on Thursday, Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina formally inaugurated the distribution of free textbooks for students up to the secondary level for the academic year 2022. The Omicron coronavirus variant dampened has New Year festivities around much of the world with Paris cancelling its fireworks show, London relegating to its television and New York City scaling down its famous ball drop celebration in Times Square. In Times Square only 15,000 people were allowed into the official viewing area. New Year's Eve, which used to be celebrated globally with a free-spirited wildness, felt instead like a case of déjà vu, with the first spreading Omicron variant again filling hospitals spatially across Europe and the United States. A year ago, the newly available vaccine offered hope that the COVID-19 pandemic may be under control by the start of 2022. The head of the World Health Organization has struck a hopeful note about beating the pandemic in 2022 in a New Year's Eve message saying the world had the tools to end this calamity even as the daily new COVID cases worldwide reach new records. But the optimistic post from WHO Director General Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus, which he started saying on LinkedIn Thursday read, the longer inequality continues, the longer pandemic will persist. 
two years in the tool available to fight the COVID-19 remains unevenly distributed around the world. As part of his New Year resolution, the WHO chief said he would work in collaboration with governments to prioritize vaccine deliveries to global initiatives like COVAX and AVAT with the target of vaccinating 70% of people in all countries by mid-2022. Bangladesh Meteorological Department on Saturday predicted that a mild cold wave is sweeping over Panchagor and Molubi Bajar districts and it may continue to spread in next 24 hours. In a release, the Met Office also forecasted that weather may remain dry with partly cloudy sky over the country during the period. It added light to moderate fog may occur at places over the country during midnight to morning. Meanwhile, night temperature may fall slightly and day temperatures may remain nearly unchanged over the country. The country's maximum temperature was recorded 29 degrees Celsius yesterday jointly at Shitakundu and Kog Bazaar of Chattogram Division, while today's minimum temperature was recorded 9.4 degrees Celsius at Tetulia in Rangpur Division. We are about to the end the headlines once again. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina urges businessmen to put concentration on research for product diversification. Following health rules, the nationwide distribution of new textbooks begin today. The head of WHO strikes a hopeful note about beating the pandemic in 2022nd. Made of his predict a mild cold wave sweeping over northern districts and it may spread countrywide. At least 12 people died in a stampede at a religious shrine in the early hours of Thursday in Kashmir. And in Mount Manganui, New Zealand collected 258 runs by five wickets on day one of the first test against Bangladesh. That's all for now. Thanks for watching my TV news. Our next bulletin will be at 7:30. Please join us. Thank you.